Okay, I said that the last video that I did was going to be my last video, but I figured I'd answer the question that's on everybody's mind is, what inspired me to become the junk food critic? Well, it happened on my 26th birthday. Well, I went, me and my family went to the Texas Roadhouse, and I decided that I would review their roles like um like I'd been recording little tiny food reviews on potato chips and uh burgers and stuff and I did a food review on Sonic which I uploaded before I got into the whole junk food quick thing. And I figured I'd do a review on their bread. The Texas Roadhouse bread and their butter. And and my sister interrupted saying, You're not a food critic. I said, I know. I'm a junk food critic. And the name just stuck. So... So while I was at Five Below, I found a Wonder Ball, and I figured that would be my first review because, as the junk food critic, because I used to eat Wonder Balls all the time. So I decided to make it a ongoing segment on my YouTube channel, and it became super popular then when I came back from camp um, I decided to branch out and review stuff other than food but I only did one non-food review and that was um, uh, on a wrestling playset um, I kept the junk punk name for a while but then Change back to junk food critic for the remainder of my uh, career. Um, except for two reviews um, in which I changed it to Munchies with Matt. Because I saw a review, another reviewer by the name of junk food critic. But then I realized they hadn't uploaded in a long time. So I changed it back to Junk Food Critic. And that's pretty much all I have to say about this. I'm sorry this actual final video isn't that good, but... You gotta do what you gotta do. My YouTube career, it has to end here, so... Um... This really is goodbye. Um, everybody ask what my favorite um, thing about being a YouTuber is. I guess it's interacting with my friends and family. And hmm, I don't like the hate going on about YouTube. It's not about the subscribers. It's not about the fame or the glory. Guys like PewDiePie and Good Mythical Morning, they're my heroes. Mm. Guys like T-Series and Smosh are only in it for the fame. And I don't like that. Smosh's content used to be great. Back with their food battles and their, yeah, their food battles. Back when it was just Ian and Anthony. And now Anthony's not even in Smosh anymore. But that was back when Defy Media was running Smosh. And now that Defy Media is no longer a part of Smosh, no longer running Smosh, maybe Anthony can come back. 
no, no. I'm just going off the top of my head, but I know that if I ever go big, I'll never sell out. But I'm lucky to have 94 subscribers. I think I said that in my last video. Uh, so, anyways, thank you guys for watching my real final video. And perhaps maybe one day I'll upload some more videos. But until then, thank you and goodbye.